Come on, a little further. Sims, get the gurney. I feel like I owe you. Ah. Bloody hell. We're going to lose a lot more than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. They're of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping persons. You always have to. No more half-assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Injecting directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn. Do the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? Memory should begin almost immediately. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. Crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16. Or maybe it was another one. fled into the tree line. It was 
then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. Come on, Bell. You know you didn't go all the way back. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Get down! Get down! BC! He's moving close. Use our knives. Stay low. Use the grass for cover. Thanks for the assist. Good luck on you, man. You heard Russian voices from a cave across the river, so you went to investigate. No, Bell. You found the bunker by going into the cave. Why is... Sims, this is scenario 17. A tunnel? You... Okay, you pulled out your sidearm and flashlight. Stop lying, Bell. Start again and tell me how you met Perseus. Christ, what's happening to them? A mild seizure. Sims, can you have the CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with advanced memories? We've got a job to do. Let's up the dosage and run one B this time. Okay, ready. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently.
The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Turn back and use the zip line to reach the bunker. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. entrance you described in the report. A lab? That doesn't sound right. Bell's in the lab? Administering one cc of adrenaline. That's it, Bell. That's what you were looking for. Perseus was in there. Running scenario one. Bell, we've got a job to do. I wouldn't advise that. I didn't ask. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The 
Crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You readied a grenade launcher and charged it. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Russian voices from a cave across the river, so you went to investigate. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents. Yes, Bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. I don't care if the door was fucking stuck. Open it.
Clark, give Bell another injection. That could be lethal. Bell's heart rate is... Do it, high. now! Heart rate is spiking. I'm not sure how much longer Bell can last. Stop wasting my time with this hallway. Turn around. Forget about the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume. survive another round now you're asking me do it we're not leaving empty-handed script 17 ready bell you've got a job to do we've been over this already skip ahead to the next one the bunker door was right there at the ruins bell you went in <laughs> Bell, go into the bunker now. Bell, open the door. Tell me about Perseus. Perseus is. 
where he'll detonate the nukes. Where is it, Bell? Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. Coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? What you're going through now is nothing compared to what you'll experience if you don't start cooperating. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Duba. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duba alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. No. <laughs> there. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. In the end, no specific background really stuck with you. You resisted everything we tried, so we just kept it a mystery. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. 
The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. Are your hands clean, Bell? No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got come a job. on, we've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now. What we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. This is your chance to define who you really are, Bell. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. 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 Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Perseus. CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. before the radio towers come back online. Our job is to knock out the AA guns and give our warbirds a clean shot. Let's take Perseus off the air.
They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. With both he and Arash Kadavar dead, their terrorist network collapsed as surviving members fought for control. With no clear leadership in place, it appears the Soviets have decided to cut ties and clean up the mess. 
Approximately 72 hours ago, the militant's primary encampment was burned to the ground. Nothing but ashes. Apparently, the few survivors that escaped have scattered and gone into hiding. What about Anton Volkov? After his death, elements inside the GDR saw an opportunity to reduce the Russian mob's influence in East Berlin. Two days ago, in a large-scale midnight raid, Stasi swept through the homes of anyone with connections to Volkov. Men, women, and children were all gone before the sun rose. This will be a major setback to underground Soviet activity in Europe. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azalea's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which, of course, we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Europe? We may have saved it from getting blown to Kingdom Come, but it's still stacked with Perseus's agents. There's more we could have done there if we'd had the time. And Bell. Arctic air. Clears the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me... It was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid? Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal.